As the hype for Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice hits a fever pitch, Us Weekly is now reporting that Batman himself, Ben Affleck, would tweak the script while on set and dressed as Batman. The report also claims that Affleck wasn't thrilled with the script in question, so he would find the time on multiple occasions to, tw- to rework it. Mark Byers saw the rumor of Ben Affleck reworking the Batman vs. Superman script. Yeah, you gotta love Us Weekly throwing in that, oh, he's dressed as Batman and he's working on the script. This is the magazine that shows us where celebrities are doing yoga and then heading to the coffee bean in your local neighborhood. I buy this, though, because I think it's Ben Affleck tweaking his lines as Batman. I don't think this is a situation where Ben Affleck comes in, puts on the tights, and then tells Zack Snyder what to do or tells him when to put Wonder Woman or Aquaman in the movie. That's my personal take. I think maybe they had creative consults with Ben Affleck as far as the direction of this movie and how to introduce the other members of the Justice League, but I don't think it's a situation where he comes in, looks at everybody's lines, and just X's it out with a red pen. I think he probably had a large amount of say in what Batman is going to be doing during this movie and the lines that he has, but as far as the overall vision of this thing goes, I'm not sure how involved Ben Affleck was in the writing of this script. Christian, do you buy or sell this? I'm going to buy it, but I think this kind of stinks for Zack Snyder, though, because like, here's the thing. If the movie turns out to be super well written and it's a great story, <laughs> yeah. you know, because it's not nothing's confirmed. People are just going to go, yeah, it's, that's Ben Affleck. You can see it. But if it's not, and if it's not, if it's not well written and it, does, it comes off badly, people are going to go, well, Affleck probably didn't have anything to do with it. It's probably all Snyder. So I, I feel bad for Snyder mm-hmm. in, in this story, though, too, because you bring in a guy like Ben Affleck with you know, Argo and the town, all these movies that he that he's done, uh, Gone Baby Gone, you, you see what he has done that for me I think he's a superior director over as far as storytelling when it comes to Snyder as far as visually Snyder's great visually but but I think that I it steals a little spotlight from him but I still think that it's it's you could see where you have someone like Ben Affleck he's going to give his opinions he's a big personality in general he's a producer as well too so he's going to if he has a problem with the script he's going to talk to Snyder about it and, it, and hopefully it, it seemed like it was probably a good collaboration I would agree I mean if the movie's great on the whole Zack Snyder's going to get the credit but if yeah. we watch that movie and we're like oh man the Batman scenes were great everything else sucked that's when Affleck is going to get all the praise probably unfairly so Schnepp are you buying this report yeah I buy and sell it I buy that he probably was somebody saw him in like his Batman suit like talking (laughs) to like oh what if I said this you know she is she with you you know it's like (laughs) whatever you know what I mean people fix change that's That's real yeah Yeah. we'll keep that let's uh, let's have some man out there everyone will love it everyone will love it hey that's really good Batman (laughs) so I didn't say put in the trailer Uh, damn it I said in the movie I just see Batman Batman as like a W.C. Fields type character. Um, I think I think ben, ben Affleck probably rewrote a bunch of the stuff, but so what? Everyone rewrites stuff on movies. That happens all the time. All the actors rewrite their lines. That's just how it works, and it's not that big of a deal. And you're right, though. It's like if the movie sucks, people are going to be like, yeah, Affleck was trying to fix it the whole time, even while he was wearing the suit, or if it's amazing – Totally Affleck yeah. fixed it while he was wearing the suit. I think it's a crappy, weird rumor. That's probably true just because some people saw him doing that, right. sitting in the suit. He's like, once you get on that suit, he's like, the only time you ever take that suit off is to piss. You know what I mean? Or like, maybe they built that in like a still suit. I'm sure suit. they built that in. It's like a dune suit. I could shit in it. You know? <laughs> totally cool. Hey, you got a yeah. shit flap? Yeah. yeah. yeah the sh- I don't even need a shit flap anymore. Just the suit eats it. Yeah. <laughs> we ever see Batman with trapdoor pajamas? Yeah. That's all we ever went out of line. I use my shit flap. Uh, yeah, I buy it, I buy it as, as well. I, I, I love just love the image of Ben Affleck in the bat suit sitting there with a pencil just like yeah. fixing the little, little the spotlight, lines. little light. I also buy it too because he brought his his writer Chris Terrio onto the project before they already had a script. Zack Snyder, Snyder once they had Ben Affleck hop on as Batman, he brought he immediately brought his own writer in. Mm-hmm. So you know he's changing things up. But I, hopefully it's not the, like what you're talking about, like making those mass changes in terms of. Like all the the story and plot is just more like hopefully he just his lines. How do you describe Batman's trapdoor again? That's oh, my shit flap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.